slide summarize the equations used to check for the shear resistance of a plaque girdle. The shear loads is to be compared against the shear resistance of the member. The resistance needs to be greater than the shear loads so that it is considered acceptable under shear loads. For that, the ratio needs to be less than 1.0. The shear load is obtained from the shear force diagram, where the largest shear load is to be obtained. It normally occurs at the support regions where the first stiffener occurs. As for the shear resistance, the shear resistance is theoretically contributed by the resistance by the web and the flank. And the total summations of the resistance provided by both elements should not be less than the resistance provided by the wet itself. Multiply the eta. The eta is obtained to be 1.2 when the grade is less than 460. It can be conservatively assumed as 1.0 for all kinds of the grade. The equations to determine the shear resistance by the web and by the flange are given here. Noting that the root is the same, the only difference is the factor chi W and the chi F, which represent the reduction factors due to the web and due to the flange. Let us cater for the wet part first. First, we need to determine the ratio chi W. Refer to BS3 part 5, table 5.1. The table 5.1 is given here. There are two terminologies here, the rigid end post and the non-rigid end post is referring to the end supports of the member where if you do not have any stiffeners at the support reaction there it is considered as no end post when there is a stiffeners at the centroid of the support and there is another stiffener at the end of the member it is considered as a rigid end post and the non-rigid end post has a stiffeners at the support reactions only. And from the table here, there are two unknowns, which are the eta and the lambda prime W. The eta again is based on the grade of the steel, which is used as 1.2 when the steel grade is less than 460, while the steel grade is more than 460, you can use 1.0. As for the lambda prime W, the, this equation is given. It is given in the equations 5.6 in Eurocode 3 part 5. In the equations, there is a factor of K thought. The care thought is referring to the considerations of the stiffness. In the case of A divided by HW more than 1.0, this equation for care thought is used. In case that it is less than 1.0, this equation is used. The A refers to the spacing between the stiffness. You may conservatively assume there are no intermediate stiffener along the length. With that, you can omit the k -tot SL. When k -tot SL is equal to 0, the k -tot is given by these two equations. Substitute the relevant equations into the lambda prime W. You will be able to obtain the lambda prime W. From there, determine the range of the lambda prime W, which whether it is in the first, second, or third category. 
Different category will lead to you different kind of view. With that, you are able to obtain the kind of view and substitute the relevant value. You will be able to obtain the shear resistance of the weight of the plate girdle. Next, we look into the flame part of the plate girdle. Basically, Eurocode do not provide you these equations. Eurocode provide you this equation instead. The C is also given as these equations. And the BF here is limited to 2 times 15 epsilon thickness flame plus the thickness of the web. Theoretically, beyond the limit of this 15 epsilon F flame, the flame is considered does not contribute to any shear resistance of the member. In another word, the flame within this limit is considered contributing to the shear resistance of the member. By looking at this equation here, we you can actually reclassify it into this root and you will know that your chi f will be equal to this. The purpose of getting this chi f is so that we can make direct comparison between the strength of the web and the strength of the flank. So in another way, when the both root is the same, so the shear resistance can be the summations of chi w and the chi flank multiply the root and again, it should be less than the resistance provided by the shear resistance of the weight itself. The factor of safety gamma M1 here is equal to 1.0. Next, we deal with the C here. The C is actually referring to the positions of the plastic hinge. When the stiffness is provided at a certain spacing, under high load, there will be two hinges in between the stiffness, and this leads to these deformations of the steel plate girder. So the steel here is actually a quantification of the positions of the hinge. The equation seems to be quite complicated, but this basically is a ratio of the flank and the wet conditions.